Now, I've been hyping up this matchup for a while. I've been saying how important this game's gonna be, and it's not because I think it's even gonna be particularly close. Now, it could be, but we're about the same overall as this team. Nevada has given us a lot of problems in the past. However, the big thing with them is that they've lost some huge players that troubled us deeply in the past. Now, what makes this game super important, as you can see, their best player is a kicker by a lot. 94 overall. The next highest overall is an 83 in Melquan Stovall, who was good last year, but their best quarterback is Jake Barlage. No more Carson Strong. No more Romeo Dubs. This is a very different team. And this isn't such an important episode because we, we beat two ranked teams this season. Cal, who's now out of the top 25. Louisiana, who's now out of the top 25. But this is a super important episode for recruiting. We have probably the record for recruits visiting the campus in any week of this season or any week of this series. Sam Wesley, who's bad, who cares? David McQueen, who's a little bit better, but still, who cares? BJ Rogers, Justin Bennett, Larry Wilkinson, Trevor Salyer, Jamar Cutler, and Kyle Poe. Some really big recruits. Now, it's interesting that I'm like, man, Sam Wesley sucks, 63 overall. But I see David McQueen, I'm like, oh, 65, 500 points. That's interesting. Haven't reordered anything here. But as you can see, a lot of these players are very, very, very big. And we have a lot riding on these visits. BJ Rogers, we could potentially go ahead of Louisville, Charlotte, Justin Bennett. We could secure him, bring him home to Riverside. Would be the first player from Riverside to be recruited to Riverside in this dynasty. Larry Wilkinson. Dude, Larry Wilkinson is going to Ohio State. But what if he isn't? What if he isn't? He's probably a running back or a corner. So we, we have some options here. And we're in a battle. But I think with a huge win today and accomplishing some of these goals, Larry Wilkinson's new number one could be Riverside and not Ohio State. Trevor Salyer, kind of the same deal. Probably about to lock this guy up, honestly. Kyle Poe could get in the conversation. Matt Pugh, Jamar Cutler. You know, all in different spots with a lot of these players. But the point is that winning this game is so important. And accomplishing these goals as well is really, really, really important as well. So I would say the big ones, BJ Rogers. We need to pass for over 250 yards. I think we can do that. And a win would obviously be very big as well. Justin Bennett, same goals there. But he's not... No, he's coming today. I just think we're going to get him. He's probably a receiver, though, as we talked about. So we're still trying to accomplish those goals. It says he's a quarterback. I don't think that he is. And then we have big goals for the secondary, which is Larry Wilkinson, Trevor Salyer, and then Kyle Poe. We got a rush for over 100 yards with a running back today. So that could be a little bit difficult. And this is a player I definitely want to get. And he is probably a running back. But also, we could try him at receiver, but probably more in the secondary at safety. So, a lot riding on this game. We need a win. And we need to accomplish those game goals as well. So, let's go ahead and hop in. Versus 3-2 and two Nevada. They've really given us some problems in the past. This is our chance for revenge at home. All right. So much riding on this. I've said that about probably four times at this point. But still, the point must be driven home. Our rush offense is not very high up there. We need 100 yards with running backs. So we need a huge game from Reggie Gonzalez. 100%. And we need over 250 yards passing. So Andy Byers will need to go off today. Trying out this jersey combo. I like it in some ways and don't like it in other ways I don't know let me know what you think I think I like it I think I like it I like the black with the blue I think this is the first time we've tried this hopefully it helps us win today <laughs> starting out on offense 
Man, if they're going to play their safeties that close to the line of scrimmage, oh, I was going to say we can take him out over the top. But Michael Ham is injured for this game. How long is Michael Ham out for? It said two weeks last week, but it is only one week. So he's going to miss this one game. That's all right. He's out for this week. And we'll uh, try to do our best without him as we're going to take off with Byers. And yeah, we're going to run with Andy Byers. Now, it's not the rushing yards that we need for the recruits visiting. But we also need to win the game. So we'll take off with Andy Byers when we need to. I'm hoping this is Reggie Gonzalez's breakout game. He was so awesome against Florida. And I really just haven't seen that player since. So I'm hoping he can show me something today. It's third and 10. I will say, and it's good because it, you know, we're on offense, right? But I will say that this crowd seems deathly quiet. As, I mean, do we have that? No, we, we threw off our back foot accidentally. Uh, fourth and ten. And that is not the drive we wanted to start at this game. I feel like we just couldn't run the ball when we tried to. So I'm like, oh, we maybe we'll be able to pass. And that didn't work either. So that's a ter terrible punt. All right. Not a good start to this game. Play action. What is a quarterback doing, man? Jake Barlidge going to lose seven. He had all day to do anything with the football and just kept it, held on to it. And Craig Jackson was going to get there eventually. Maybe this game is going to be easy. If their offense looks like this, I'm in. Now, we don't know what their running game is going to look like, but if the quarterback wants to hold on to the ball for as long as he did there, it might not be that bad, but all right, 16 yards. Getting a little bit ahead of myself. Third and one. Do we basically commit to the run here? I think so. It's going to be a pass, though. Trying to get after him with Jackson. And that's a breakup by Joel Pitts back in coverage. That's a little bizarre. And on fourth and one from essentially midfield, Nevada will punt. Okay. It's a really bad decision, I think. But thank you. We'll get the ball at the 20 after the touchback. Second and 13. I feel like I can run the ball against this front, though. As Gonzalez will take that for a nice 10 yards. It's been very difficult to run the football with him already. I mean, after that gain, three rushes for seven yards, and that was a 10-yard gain. That isn't good. That is not good at all. But it's a, it's a process out here, and Gonzalez is open out of the backfield. Just turn up field. This doesn't count as rushing yards, but it is a nice gain. 16 yards. I really think we're going to miss Michael Ham today. It's so nice to have that deep threat over the top. As Duvall will make an incredible catch. That's like the craziest two yards you'll ever see. Should not have thrown the bubble, but we are under pressure. And I'm just like, I'm going to throw it. Bad decision. But Duvall was probably going to have even more yards if not for another defender coming over to make that tackle. I mean, he was going to make an insane catch. And then go up. And uh, as Briggs has a huge gain, and then he's going to go up and break another tackle after that. 20 yards. Dangerous throw. I'm living really dangerously. It's going to come back to bite me here because that was nearly intercepted. I guess it wasn't, but it could have been. Do we take a shot? I'm trusting Humphreys. Use the size. And Humphreys had it in the end zone off the tip. I got to start switching on. I have to start switching on and trying to target the ball at its highest point because when we just lob the ball up there, we don't have a step over the top. It's just an underthrow that the receiver never makes a play on. It's always just a clear opportunity for the DB to get an interception. And I just can't have that. Just can't have that. I'm going to switch on. Listen, if I miss it, trying to switch on, make a play, and it just falls short or gets picked, it could get picked anyway. We're letting... That's not good. <laughs> We're letting the DB get a free shot at it. Uh, maybe the draw there wasn't the best call, but I mean, they're getting into the backfield. They're living in the backfield. And I guess this is not field goal range. How is that possible? I, mean, I guess we'll really try and pin him here. This looks like a good one, though. It's all right. Maybe they'll have it at the 10. Uh, gosh. Not the start we were looking for. This defense has played a lot better than I thought they would, though. How did you throw that? Why would you throw that? Maybe is a better question. The route was wide open over the middle. It looked like I was covering that one. Why did he do that? Run it up the middle. I'm shooting the gap. Tight end. Coming back across formation. 
It is up the middle, kind of. Just redirected. And this back's breaking all types of tackles. Dwight Johnson powers forward for 14. I don't know why I thought this team would be a pushover. Like, every game could be a challenge at times. Yeah, I think I underestimated this team a little bit. I think that much is clear. Here's a pitch. Ugh, geez. <laughs> 18 yards for Dwight Johnson. Who just kind of uh, made himself untackleable trucking like that and swerving. That's not good. Dude, uh, we're getting run over right now. And with recruiting, my current class, and I'm getting good players, but not a whole lot of guys in the front seven. Like, we have good linebackers, Greg Hall, Craig Jackson, for the future, fine. But I'm worried about my D-line. I need to try... As Ezekiel Sims gets an interception! Perfect way to get cut off. He's starting to play really well. He's slow as anything, but if you throw it to him, he's been catching a few of these recently. Great turnover, this Riverside team, and we got the football back. We need to figure out how to run the football, though. That is one thing we need to get a whole lot better at. But as I was saying, we need to try and invest in some low lock percentage defensive ends, maybe, which is another reason why this game is so important. I hope we get some recruits following this game to actually commit so we can focus those efforts on other players. And Gonzalez is hurt. You got to be kidding me with this guy. Oh my goodness. He gets hurt every single game. Reggie, please stay on the field. Second and two. Humphreys. Ah, it's too conservative. It's funny. Somebody in the, uh, in the comments section said, I have a low football IQ because I'm not aggressive enough. I think it was on Lions franchise back in the day when we literally could not stretch the field. This comment I read like today, and apparently they can tell I never played high school football because of it, which is not even true, by the way. I did. But, uh, yeah, they're... <laughs> I'm like, okay. So we get sacked. I guess I have a low football IQ because I took a sack. Never want to do that. I can't move the ball, man. I can't run. I can't pass. I'm getting really annoyed. And I, I can't even punt right now either. This is the worst I've played. And it, it's coming right off the back of a really big win against Cal. Yes, frustrating. I think it is a game goal to get interceptions and pass deflections, though. So we're on the right track there. Brown can't tackle him after Clemens couldn't tackle him. Washington can't tackle him. Sims can't tackle him. Can anybody tackle him? Huge rushing touchdown for the Wolfpack. I mean, he just turned into God at that moment. Not even going for hit six. Just trying to tackle him, and nobody could. Like, it's like a Steven Seagal movie, man. We just kept on going at him one-on-one. -on -one. He was like, hee ha Chop! And just beat us all. And yes, those are real Steven Seagal moves, okay? He's not exactly an athlete. I don't know how he's so effective in those movies. This is real competition there's real competitors should say should say all right let's start actually moving the ball how's that i don't like this taking off with buyers step out of bounds we only have 77 total yards of offense so far it's not good but i feel like the guy i keep looking for is not open and that's like, I don't even mean like one person in particular, by the way. I mean, just like any player. I scan the right side of the field, nothing's open. I'm looking left, nothing's open. I'm sure it just happens to be bad timing where I'm just missing a guy getting wide open, obviously. It's got to be that. We'll check down. He bounced off the sideline, but Duvall has 10. Not a very good first quarter for us. 100 rushing yards is not really a lot. I think we can definitely end up doing that. But it's definitely been a grind so far. And Gonzalez has not been especially good. 19 yards. Dude, I don't know what happened to the player that we had in the first episode against Florida. First episode of this season, I should say. That's a sick move. Staying on his feet. That's looking a little bit more like it. Also, I will say that the blocking for him hasn't looked especially good. That could be a big problem as well, obviously. We have him over the top. He's flat-footed. 
And uh, we tried to switch on. I curved it just a little bit too much, but we weren't going to have a play on it anyway. I think I threw it a touch early, and Duval is just not quite fast enough to make that happen. But that, that isn't bad. That isn't bad. I just miss Michael Ham in the lineup so much. He does so much as a deep threat. It's just, uh, it's so noticeable that no one can really win deep. Over the middle, though, to Elgin Collins. Nice pickup. It's just like dinking and dunking. A 10 and 12 yard gains through the air have kind of been our biggest today so far. It is only the second quarter. There's a lot of time left. But it has been tough to get chunk yardage, I must say. Flat is open enough. We just take the four. We have a mismatch. It's five against four right now. We just need the line to hold the block for longer, please. Maybe I should run more triple option. Let's try it. Byers, quarterback keeper, wide open up the middle, and that's a late hit. Andy Byers has the touchdown. Now that, of course, doesn't count for halfback rushing yards, which is really what we want. But it does count for actually helping us win. 7-7, seven, seven, first time on the board this game, obviously. We need a whole lot more of those, more points. But also, the stadium is starting to fill up a little bit as we start to win. Look at this crowd. It, it's actually a crowd. It's been like basically empty for a lot of these games, but the house is packed today. Quarterback keeper. I ran past with Washington, that's on me. Is this Pop Jackson, by the way? When's the last time he made a play? Alan Hart in the backfield, good TFL. I feel like Pop Jackson doesn't even play. With the addition of Phil Walker, he just doesn't get on the field too much, especially when Craig Jackson comes down. I'm fine with that, though. Pop Jackson made some plays for us, but I think we're putting the best foot forward with the best team. It's a screen. Trying to get on it with Hall. Read it well enough, but couldn't get there. That's no good. That's going to be a very big gain for Dwight Johnson. 25 yards. Um, I took a, a, a design risk there with the Hall monitor, Greg Hall. Kind of looped around through the B-gap. I think I went through the B-gap. And uh, we're basically, we were chasing instead of firing. As he pitches it to no one! It's recovered by Alan Hart. How many times am I going to get cut off by turnovers here lately? I'm cool with it. He just pitched it to no one. Alan Hart recovers, and we got the football. I don't even know what I was saying. Yeah, design risk, played chase instead of uh, filling the gap responsibility. Whatever. And we're getting sacked. We fumble the ball. Reggie Gonzalez can't recover it. And Nevada has it right back. Play action, and he just got there too quick. What a disaster of a game this has been for us offensively. Uh, it's just been terrible. Good play. Nope, didn't tackle him. Greg Hall did, though. I need this dude to start throwing some more interceptions so he can get some interceptions and deflections because we're obviously going to drop a few of them. I mean, that's a given. And there's one, Sam Brown. But the unfortunate thing is he's a linebacker and not a DB anymore. So that doesn't count for the DB recruits. We're going to try some more traditional runs here. See what the blocking's like. Gonzalez is just powering forward. I couldn't really see a defined big hole. So we just tried to just keep trucking forward, going with the blocking. But maybe Reggie Gonzalez will do better from some more traditional under center runs. As we have a little bit of space here. Big stiff arm, eight yards. This is this is getting us somewhere. We're halfway there. And it's only the second quarter. Toss could be really good as long as we can actually seal. And I think we've done a decent job of it. And it's another first down. Probably going to give Gonzalez a rest after three straight runs, though. Maybe this is a good time to work play action. And I think it will be. Willie Briggs into the game, of course. And, you know, we're going to streak the tight end. And hope that the blocking holds. 
It's open. Got it to Humphreys. I wanted the tight end. I wanted Humphreys a bit earlier, but I think that was the best opportunity. Was that that timing? We're gonna bring Humphreys in motion. Oh, Reggie Gonzalez back. Yeah, but I was gonna say get the ball to Willie Briggs, but it is Reggie. He goes up the middle and uses some of that speed to burst through the hole. Okay, so he's just a guy that prefers running under center, which I guess makes sense because um, the blocking has been better. <laughs> I think he's good from shotgun too, but the blocking just hasn't been there. So it's been really tough to see that actually come to fruition as we need him to go up the field here. Byers has a ton of space, nothing but open field, but we will duck out of bounds at about the 11. We're over hundred for the team on the game as Andy Byers has 52 of his own. I like Humphreys on a slant here. There it is. Oh, what a one-handed snag by John Humphreys. That ball was behind him. He didn't care. Reached back, grabbed it, and made a really nice play. Second and three. Let's try it again. There it is, wide open. It's an Elgin Collins touchdown. Not someone that finds the end zone a ton for us, but we need to start amping up this offense. It's nice to take a lead, but only 99 passing yards here in the first half. When we need 250 for the game, we need to do a little bit better than this. Still plenty of time though. The screen, it should be all over it. My freaking own teammate took me out of the play. I was trying to follow it. He ran back and blocked me, I swear to God. Yeah, we're gonna take a second look. Look at this. Read the screen really quickly. And freaking Joel Pitts, man. I guess. Some other guys that were responsible for that happening, but still annoyed me. I'm in player lock. That's no good. You throw at me? Stovel with the catch. I'm like, I can't see what's happening. All right, Greg Hall is going to play defensive end. Joel Pitts at middle linebacker. What is happening? Going to try and run. Pitts, get to him. Nice. Got the sack with Joel Pitts. This is what we need. Our base formation with Pop Jackson out here. My linebacker's playing linebacker. I do like Craig Jackson... A lot at uh, at defensive end though. But he's also good in space making that tackle. So, I mean, I can take it or leave it depending on what it is. I just want to play the formations that are the most successful most often. Even if it means less production for Pop Jackson. Alan Hart got bitched, but Bruce Clemens laid a huge hit. And we're going to call a timeout and get the football back. 37 seconds. This is a lot of yards to work with. This would be huge. It's so open. Fires didn't have the arm. Yeah, it's a long throw. It's a long throw. The thing about rolling out to the right there. We're going to throw deep. Humphreys. Went up and got it. He broke a tackle. And I'm cut off again. And I don't mind. John Humphreys. Insane play. That's why I got to switch on. Switch on, get in position, make a play. John Humphreys, high point of the football, broke a tackle and gave us a huge touchdown. I forgot what I was saying before. Oh yeah, the reason why I rolled out, it took the safety toward Humphreys and then it left uh, Duval wide open. But maybe we could just throw it up to Humphreys and he'll go up and make a play. Six five, insane catching. And it was on full display there. Maybe we don't need Michael Ham just over the top. We can throw jump balls and make big plays like that happen. The screen, that's a pick. Oh my goodness, it should have been. It's all over it. Timeout Nevada, 10 seconds remain. Go back to back with a screen, see what happens. Joel Pitts in coverage is not good. We need to just make a tackle here. That'll do. One play, one shot to the end zone. I would really like for this to be an interception. But a pass deflection by a DB I think would work too. And he's getting sacked. Adrian Chandler got to him. Probably shouldn't have tried to sack him. Just to get that guaranteed deflection on a throw up. But that's okay. Start of the third quarter. We are up 21 to 7. They struggled to move the football. Our defense has played really, really well, which you love to see. Okay. He just got sent to the shadow realm. Second half. Let's go, defense. Keep playing well. To run. 
Do a big hit. Bruce Clemens can deliver some shots. He's like the best bartender on the planet. Kind of a cool nickname, the bartender. Never had that in a dynasty or franchise before. Just came up with it. It's maybe not the best nickname ever. But I don't think it's terrible. Second and four. Nice little option play. Shut down by Alan Hart. Is he going to start to play better? I mean, he's been playing pretty well these past couple weeks. I heard Alan. He got destroyed in, in season two. He was kind of like the punching bag. But he's been good this season. Nice threw at me. It's just a, a situation where I don't think we're going to get thrown out there. So I tried to go cover the flat. And I see if you're if you're too in the middle, you're neither in or out. You're going to be out of position every time. You got to choose one to cover. It's better to cover one rather than leave both open. That's what I think. How cool would it be to just throw a pick here? It's a screen. I don't mean to the linebacker, though. I meant down the field. Barlage goes down again. Second sack of the game for Adrian Chandler. I mean, I took away the screen. He felt like he couldn't throw the ball. It's a good sack to take. If ever there was a time, that's it right there. Second and 19 for Nevada. Play action. We're going to cover that. They're going deep down the field. Nice throw. Third and 19. Throw it up. He's going to get sacked again. <laughs> Tough day for Jake Barlage. It's Jarrell Dawson. Doesn't play a ton because Adrian Chandler's on the field, but that is a very nice play. How many yards passing do we have? Probably about 160. 170. We're going to find out real soon, but that's, that's on really good pace. That play to John Humphreys was massive. I saw the corner route too. Didn't really like it. 182 for Andy Byers. Very nice. A safety's coming up. I mean, you're going to have to make a decision. It's going to be Hayford down the field, or it's going to be Reggie Gonzalez. We're going to give him a chance. All right. Good play. Third and seven. Who wants to get open? I mean, that was to Hayford, and it's just an errant throw. <laughs> we got to hit those. At least give him a chance. Throwing out of bounds there, pretty much, like, doesn't do anything positive for us. It's a decent enough punt. I'm running man for the rest of the game, I feel like. Uh, or I think. I feel like man gives us our best results when defending the pass. Nice play there by Malik James. It is third and six. Throw at one of my DBs, please. To screen. We're all over it with the Hall monitor. Not on his watch. Nice TFL for Greg Hall, but they keep going to these screens and I'm all over the screens. Now, it's interesting with this game because usually our problem is stopping anybody when we're on defense. But Nevada hasn't really been able to move the football. It's encouraging. Well, that's not entirely true. They have, but they haven't been able to convert. Only seven points. This might be the fewest amount of points we've allowed ever in this dynasty. I want, I tried to slide. I hit square, man. Tell me that's a hold. Uh, please don't. Face mask, 15. All right. Give me some blocks. Gonzalez, it's just a nice game. When is he going to break one? Hopefully soon. This curl should be wide open, and it is. Humphreys with space. 17 yards for the big receiver. He's over 110 on the game. Fires just 51 yards away from the goal. I think that's extremely doable. Willie Briggs slot left now. We're going to the end zone. No, we're not. We're throwing a pick. Picked off by Deadman. Big hit by the offensive lineman there. Uh, yeah, nice turnover, man. I thought we just had one-on-one. -on -one. We just throw it to him. DB made a nice play to undercut it. Credit where credit's due. Didn't expect that to happen. Oh, that's not good. Swerve past that one. We were out of position. I audibled, and I had Joel Pitts on the line move back to linebacker and Sam Brown came down to play defensive end 
Um, I tried to switch to a man coverage after calling zone. I was just kind of discombobulated on that one. Play action. Jeez, where do they find these guys? Oh, he's going to break a tackle. He's going to keep fighting. He's going to get the first. Read option. Get off the ground, Malik James. Huge hit by the true freshman, Joseph Brown. These QBs don't be fumbling, though. They do not fumble. Another read option. Hart, one-on-one. -on -one. He just got thrown down. Jake Barlidge with the TD. Nevada fighting back. And Texas has beat Oklahoma. They've won the Red River Showdown. Let's go. Hook them horns. <laughs> uh, leading receivers, Josh Moore just transferred. That's okay. I'll take the video game win for now. All right, so points off the turnover for Nevada as we get it. I'm shocked that was completed, by the way. I thought that would be undercut almost for sure. That's wide open. Byers, please hit him. Blake Hayford, super open. Truck him. 40 yards from the tight end. A little bit of a backyard football there. Rolling out, waiting for a play to happen, but it did. He got open. And I'm looking for a receiver. It's going to be the running back, Gonzalez. He's wide open and falls forward after 22. Maybe had a touchdown on that. Just one false move, and we couldn't make it happen. Last play of the third quarter. Can we snap the ball? We can. Briggs up the middle. Pulled over somebody. Come on, Reggie. Make something happen. Here's a run. Power. Third and goal now. Called halfback dive. He's got 76 yards. I need this to be a touchdown. Look at their D-line, man. Up the middle. Gonzalez stopped. Oh, my God. We got to go through them. Fourth and goal from the two. I'm going to trust the defense. I will trust the defense. And by that, I mean we are going to go for this. We are from basically the one yard line. Look where that thing is. I trust Willie Briggs to punch it in. Up the middle. Briggs. Power. Got it. Touchdown, Willie Briggs. Our defense has been so good for the entire game. Nevada getting a 98-yard drive there seemed unlikely to me. But thankfully, we don't have to worry about that. Willie Briggs punches it in. TD, and we're up by two scores here late. Seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter. I like this uniform combo. I've thought about it all game. I like it. I definitely like it. Can make that tackle with James. Big hit. Joseph Brown. Third and four. How about you pass? How about you pass it to my DBs? And Malik James is my user now at middle linebacker pretty much. So if they run a screen or something and I can get a hand on it as Barlidge is sacked again. If I could have got it. If I could have got a hand on it, if they called a screen or something, we get credit for the deflection or interception. But we just keep sacking them. I feel like on speed option, they always play the running back. And it leaves Andy Byers wide open. But I need to find plays that will get the running back in space. And make a big play happen. Now, will halfback swing count as a run? If we can throw it behind the line, yes. So that, that should be a run. That's not good. They're going to count it as a catch, though. Now, Byers is over 250 passing. We don't want that to go the other way. After that negative two yard catch. We're out and up. We're out and up. Oh my goodness. Dude. Uh, I didn't mean for that to be so wildly off balance. Shoot. What a waste. What a waste. All right. Can't get too crazy. We'll punt it back. More opportunities for a deflection or interception. Still need a lot more of those. Big hit, Greg Hall. I mean, you're trying that crap down by two touchdowns at this point in the game. Throw the damn ball. Greg Hall's going to make sure of it. Yeah, try that again. Try that again. We're going to have James. Can we get him on R1? I can't. Maybe I'll just user him. 
but it's gonna be a run. Malik James, huge hit. Why are they running the ball? Are they conceding defeat? You just don't want me to accomplish my goals and get better recruits? I mean, it's great. It's great strategy from a team in the same conference. I guess I respect it on some level. Hate it on every other level. And he's sacked again. Barlage goes down for the umpteenth time today. It's Joel Pitts again. And they're going to punt. Here's a run. Good change of direction from Reggie Gonzalez for eight. He's going to go over 100 with one of these next ones, I'm sure. He's at 86 right now. I think it'll probably take two more if I had to bet. Now, fullback belly should count as running back here because Willie Briggs is halfback. So, I think that should be three more yards. I think we're probably over 100. We're not. He only has eight. Okay, that's fine. We're about one nice gain away then. But we're going to try to get 100 with uh, Gonzalez anyway. Nice run! Nice juke from Reggie Gonzalez, and that guarantees it. 18-yard gain from Reggie. He's just a true freshman, right? So, he's going to have his ups and downs. And he hasn't been amazing of late. But I'm convinced that uh, he's going to start turning it on. Like, especially over his career. Sophomore season, junior, senior. Like, he could end up being amazing. And uh, we're going to get Willie Briggs a touch here. He goes up the middle, and he gets a touchdown. Is that the second of the day for Willie Briggs? It might be. going to be 35-14 Riverside. Just a dominant Royals win, which I think is the first time we can ever say that. I think so. As Auburn has held on to beat number 20 Ole Miss in that SEC battle. What a game that must have been. Dude, Barlage is just a glutton for punishment. Joel Pitts has now tied the school record for sacks in a game with three. I, he just ran into him. This dude sucks. I mean, this is what it must look like when I just run into sacks all game. But, I mean, I don't know. I feel like this is pretty bad. He's going to run again. Throw the ball. Dude, Phil Walker gets in on the action. This is great for our sack totals. Throw the ball. Please, I beg you. Finally, and he completes it. A shocker. There's a flag. This might be coming back. Nope, nope, it's going forward. 15. This quarterback is just such a damn idiot. I need these DB deflections. He sacked again. What is this pass rush all of a sudden? Phil Walker gets another. Dude, I swear it's because he just holds on to it. I'm rushing four. And that's going to be a pick. Malik James with the deflection. That's the first deflection of the game by a DB, I think. I'm going to come out in exclusively dollar. It's third and 17. Just, yeah, I love that throw, though. Just throw it right to me. Do exactly that. They're going to run? I don't believe this. I do not believe this team. Great, you set up fourth and ten. I mean, I guess I am daring you to run the football running dime. But also, like, come on, dude. Fourth and ten. And it's a check down. And it's a turnover. Unreal. Humphreys won at the line. We're lobbing it up to him. John Humphreys down the field. Does he have the speed? No, he doesn't. But it's a massive gain, and we are now over 300 passing yards. Looking for the third touchdown. Why are we in hurry up? I want Nevada to get another touch. Listen, if you think I've forgotten how teams would run up the score on us when we were a bad team, you are mistaken. I have not forgotten. It's still very fresh in my memory. I will do whatever it takes. More coach XP. More opportunities for interceptions. Gonzalez catches it. He's short. Oops, I called a timeout. Suck it. I don't get I don't care. These teams did this to me. Now I don't know if it was explicitly Nevada who did it. 
necessarily them. But, uh, they were part of a conference that did it to us. So they deserve to pay. Listen, they're just daring me to run read option here. I'll do it. Reggie Gonzalez, touchdown. I'll take it. As Wyoming beat New Mexico by two. Another very interesting game there in the Mountain West. As Nevada down a billion, they just might run the ball. 42-14 with 35 seconds to go. They might wave the white flag and just say, hey, you beat us today. And this is the first comfortable win in series history, I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section below, but I believe this is the first comfortable win we've ever had. Where we're winning by a decent, a decent number and it's just going to happen. I think they're just going to run the ball here. What is that? They're calling timeouts. I guess they're still trying. I'm in man coverage. I'm pressing at the line. I'm daring you to, to throw the ball. And they're going to show a tight end and a fullback in. It's a screen. It's another awful play. It's fumbled. Recovered by Craig Jackson. This team's a disaster. You deserve to get blown out. You're terrible. Not getting overturned either. It is a fumble. And we'll kneel the ball. I mean, it's not even an option. If it was an option, I would have. Because you get points for taking kneels up in the fourth quarter. But uh, this is the final play of the game. And that's open, but it's a terrible throw. Good stuff from Andy Byers, but it's a huge win. And that is a really nice win in front of a bunch of recruits. Hopefully some guys commit right after this. Five consecutive wins. Byers is your player of the game. 329 yards through the air, 321, 321 or 329, 70 yards on the ground, multiple touchdowns, and I mean, we just dominated them. Not even is it a comfortable win, it is a dominant win. We crushed them. I guess losing Carson Strong and Romeo Dubs, two draftable players on offense, is certainly going to hurt your offensive production, and it did. They got murdered. I mean, let's check it out. Yeah, 321, two touchdowns, and of course that interception. Reggie Gonzalez had 115 on the ground and a touchdown. Not a bad performance. 5.4 per carry isn't particularly impressive in college. As John Humphreys had a huge game. Six for 169 and a TD. Very nice. Elgin Collins with a TD as well. Not too bad. And then defensively, I mean, Joel Pitts had three and a half sacks. Two for Adrian Chandler, two for Phil Walker. This is a school record, by the way. Uh, one for Jarrell Dawson and Craig Jackson, half a sack for Sam Brown. One pick for Ezekiel Sims, and then we only had three deflections. I think we needed four, but Sam Brown's a linebacker, so that wouldn't have counted, so we only had two, really. But dominant performance. You know what's interesting as well is Humphreys is now listed as an 88 overall. So I wonder if when these guys are on fire, they can go up a little bit. Because Humphreys, 100% last week, was an 87, but now is listed as an 88. So I wonder if he's getting attribute boosts. I know that can happen in this game. I guess it uh, happened enough to get his overall up. As Michigan stomped Purdue, both ranked. Southern Miss over ECU. Florida beat number 5 LSU by a field goal. LSU made a huge comeback in the second half, but it wasn't to be or in the fourth quarter, I should say. Fresno State murdered Colorado State. They're having a terrible season. <laughs> they just keep getting destroyed. Oh, I hate to see it. Oh, wait, you don't. Yeah, I mean, we did, we murdered them. But I'm hoping for a big week here. It is a bye week. We'll do that in this episode as well. Show me some commits. I think we're going to get at least one after that stomping. Or at least I'm hoping anyway. And we got them. Oh, my goodness. Justin Bennett has decided to commit. 77 overall quarterback. This is the Riverside player that I still think is probably a receiver for us. That is a huge commit. The first recruit from Riverside in Riverside history. We got Jamar Cutler, upgrade on the O-line, and Trevor Salyer, good depth at corner, and certainly a nice speed upgrade as well. Sam Wesley got plus 500 and decided not to commit for some reason nobody's going after him by the way nobody 
Five consecutive wins. School record for sacks in a game is a lot of XP. And we have a ton of points now. We got to invest in the uh, defensive line. But let's go ahead and look at our newest commits. First of the season, Jamar Cutler is good. He's only 259. But he's got good run block. He's got great acceleration, good pass block. I think that's going to be a really nice player for us. Trevor Salyer from a pipeline state in California. Of course, it's very local. 88 speed, 80 man, 78 zone. He's not the best, but he's pretty good. Tackling is a bit low. Probably a red shirt candidate, of course, but he is a uh, he is pretty good. And then Justin Bennett's the huge one. Four star from Riverside. What a story as we beat out USC. And they say he's probably a receiver, or, or excuse me, a quarterback. And I can see that. 84 throw power, 81 throw accuracy, 84 speed, all pretty good. But when you look at 81 catching, 82 spectacular catch, 74 catching traffic, 87 route running, his release is so low, which is so confusing to me. 86 elusiveness, 86 juke. I mean, all pretty good. Release is so low if he were going to be a receiver. That's so low. I think that's going to depend on whether we get Adam Daniel or not. Because I think this guy's going to be my QB. So we shall see. Let's see an update. So Robert Parsons, minus 560. Sam Wesley, I think the only reason he hasn't decided to commit is because we haven't offered him a scholarship. But nobody has. He's just not that good. Doesn't really do anything that well. Sorry, Sam, but you suck. David McQueen, we have the lead on. BJ Rogers. He visited in week seven, right? He did it. He did it. We got a lot of points, 400. But, um... Whoa. Game goals bet one of two. Wasn't he throw for 250 or run for 100? I wonder what the other game goal was. But we jumped up to number two. We're still in the race. But he's going to be a tough one to win. For sure. I don't know what he is. Receiver with good speed. Quarterback with amazing speed at 6'6", 207. Probably receiver. Larry Wilkinson. Probably no Raphael Wilkinson if you watch Lions franchise. But looks pretty good. We decided he was probably a corner. Probably fighting to get him it's gonna be pretty tough but we we closed the gap a bit kyle poe we're in the lead on now big time athlete plus seven gem and he is probably a safety i think i've said and then matt Pugh, fighting with hawaii but he doesn't visit till week 12. tony lucas is ready for a visit ucla is the big one for him right now He's dead set on going out west, it seems. From Florida, the only Florida or even East Coast team that he wants to go to is Florida State. And um, UCLA is week 12. I mean, we want we want a game. Let's do against Boise State. And right now, my big thing, I need to beef up the D-line, I think. I'm looking at defensive ends. Gotta get some. All right, let me look at some of these new DNs I added. I think that Marcus Kerr looked to the, the best to me athletically. He is a plus six gem. That's a big one. 82 speed, 79 finesse moves, 78 power moves. A lot to work with here. New Mexico guy. How many scholarships? Nobody's offering him a scholarship. We're going to get involved. We can't add any points this week. Mike London is the same. Does look good, though. Don't know if I'll offer a scholarship just yet. Harvey Britton is the same, but still looks good. 80 power moves. Good block shot, just a bit slow. Calvin Anderson is a minus five bust. Get him off the board. Bobby Hill from King of the Hill is gone. JT King, plus five. 65 overall. He's not that good. I think we could probably get him, though. Let's try to get Mike London. We get some more bonus points there. 
who will leave JT King on the board, but I'm gonna take Harvey Britton off. I'm gonna try and build up this New Jersey pipeline. Any good players from New Jersey? Willie White. I feel like we're set at receiver. I kind of like corner, but also... Like, he's not that fast. Yeah, the talent from New Jersey isn't great right now. Another guy I think is going to be an absolute freak is Terrence Brown from Hueytown, Alabama. He's a D-tackle. He's only 247, but he looks really, really good athletically, and he is a gem. 65 speed at D-tackle is quite good. We get plus 255 bonus on him. Power move and finesse move is quite good. I think we have a pretty good player there. Uh, Dale Taylor. He's a plus six gem, even better. 82 finesse moves, 80 block shed, a bit slower. But another player I will offer a scholarship to. Those are two huge D tackles. Not in terms of weight. They're not very big there, but they look very good athletically and technically. Marcus Miller, plus four overall at corner. Pretty good. Good speed. Coverage isn't great. New Jersey guy as well. I'm going to offer him a scholarship. Trying to build up that pipeline. Fun little storyline. This lineman is not great. Willie Hollins, I don't even know if he's worth scouting. He's plus seven. The reason I was going to say he's not worth scouting is because we only have plus 75 bonus points on him from Biloxi, Mississippi. But he is really good. So I'll offer him a scholarship. He doesn't have any scholarship offers right now, so we'll try that. Outside linebacker with 87 speed. Potentially a scholarship in there. Minus six bust. Don't like to see that. Plus six gem. 71 overall defensive end, Andy Watson. We really could revamp our defensive line getting some of these guys. But once again, like we're not getting a ton of bonus points from a lot of these guys. Last one. Should I do Adam Sanders or Pete Mitchell from Teaneck? Let's do Pete Mitchell. Man, what a mistake that was. He's not very good. It's not a huge mistake, but I used a lot of my points on scouting this time around and not so much on kind of trying to retain some of the players I'm going after. Like some of those would have been good to put on Chase Penn for sure, who's a really good tackle. I mean, not really, but a solid tackle. But we're going to go through the bye week here. And J.D. Lewis is ready to visit. Recruiting battle for you know some of our top guys, obviously. That's going to happen. We do get a little bit of XP there for finding both busts and gems. How far are we to the next coach XP? About halfway there. I want to see where we are in some of these battles, though. Because we're going to take over the lead on some of these. Dave McQueen, number one. B.J. Rogers, we're still fighting. Larry Wilkinson fighting. We're just going to be in a recruiting battle for some of these guys. We just are. It's the nature of the beast. I would love for Kyle Poe to eliminate Stanford, though. That would be really nice. Because I think we're going to stay in the recruiting battle here. And we're just going to have to try and win him in the offseason if we really want him as a player. Which I think I do. Really good safety. I mean, he's almost an 80 overall. He's sick. We're pulling away here on Marion Bates and Adam Daniel. Not by a ton, but a little bit. Little by little, we are. What is TJ Fields again? I always forget what these guys are. He's offense, probably. A receiver. I, it took me forever. He's not really an athlete. He doesn't do anything well except for catch the ball. So don't call him an athlete. L look at what he does. What, what else could he be? Oh, wow. 63 juke move. Maybe he's a running back. Could he play defense? I don't know. 53 tackle seems pretty bad. Uh, maybe he's just a cover guy. Nope. 22 zone, 20 man. 35 play rec. He's not a defender. But he also isn't good at anything but catching. <laughs> Bit of an odd one. Where are we on Chase Penn? Falling behind because I put like no points in him. Marcus Kerr, I'd have to put a lot of points into. Mike London, we're not going to have a shot on him. Michigan offered a freaking scholarship is why. Piece of shit school. Dale Taylor, not going to have a shot. Did Miami offer? No, they didn't. Why are we that far behind? We offered him a scholarship. I'm putting all my points into Terrence Brown, I'll tell you that. We got a realistic shot to get Willie Hollins. We're still very close 
and he'd be really good. But we need to make the tough decisions. I want Terrence Brown. Dale Taylor, unfortunately, you just got to take off. We're not going to get back in that. And Marcus Kerr is the other one. Really good player. Got to have him. Chase Penn. How are we at tackle? We're probably going to end up at least being in position to get Tony Lucas. 50 points is irrelevant. So I'm going to put these in a Marcus Kerr. Can I spare points anywhere else? I mean, we're going to stay in this battle with Matt Pugh. And he's visiting in a few weeks. I think I can take off 50 and feel fine about it. I'm going to keep the points on the five stars. David McQueen, I really don't need to put 500 points in him. All he is is fast. And he's already visited. If we fall out of the battle, we fall out of the battle on him, honestly. I put in a ton of points every week. But he really isn't that good. But that is going to do it for the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We are 5-1. and one. Can you believe it? Still not ranked. We're not going to be ranked this year. I mean, unless it really comes down to it at the end of the year. And they're searching for one loss teams. We got votes. We got votes. Oh my goodness. We could be ranked for the first time. You just got to keep winning. Five and one. I'm honestly kind of shocked we're here at this point. It is season three. But, uh, I mean, it, we just got killed so much. <laughs> it feels so good to not be getting killed anymore. Update on the Heisman watch. Still kind of the same names you're used to. Talia Tugamailoa is in there. Trey Sanders in there as well. Tugamailoa is interesting. He's a 98 overall in the game. Huh. Let's end the episode by looking at our new rankings. We're up to B for coach prestige. That's really nice. Championship contender is up to a B. Which is super interesting. What is, I'm looking at the rankings here. I don't know what these numbers are. Projected rankings. We were projected 30 at one point in season one with a 40 overall team. I don't, need, I don't really understand projected rankings. I don't know how we ever could have been 30th. And, uh, oh, these are new offensive and defensive coordinators. Be nice to keep those guys. And we're getting better. We're getting better with these, uh, these rankings as well. I think we're into C range for a lot of these things. We've played one national game. I think that was against Florida. We've played four regional games. And we've won all of them. We are certainly moving in the right direction. Winning more games. And eventually, I think we're going to have a player drafted. Have you guys been commenting about getting some of these guys in Lions franchise? If somebody gets drafted, I can make it happen at some point. But right now, we don't really have anyone that could be drafted. We just don't. Like, maybe John Humphreys long-term, because he's going to get into the 90s. Sophomore, junior, senior. He could end up being like a 96 overall as a senior. So he might end up being drafted. But he's the highest overall on the team by a lot. By a lot. I mean, Reggie Gonzalez, let's say plus four every season. He'll get into the 90s. But I'm not sure if he would even get drafted. He was a five-star recruit, right? So it's tough to get drafted. But I am really happy with how things are going. Team's coming along really nicely. Oh, Denario Watson's a 77. Why did I think he was a 40? Ah, uh, Derek Bryant is who I'm confusing him with. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Denario Watson's fine. He's actually pretty good. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Got 90 awareness for no reason. But uh, that's going to do it for me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Bit of a longer one here. But I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. It's insane. I hit it at the park. Ben Bones. See me high step to the end zone. My life like a game Nintendo. Playing with the best. Let them know. Get off the track. The train's coming through. Yeah. Promise you get in my way. Then you best believe I'ma just run over you. Yeah. Yeah. I'ma turn taking it back to the house. Defensive joke. I'm laughing.
so loud.